Hey YouTube, it's Mickey here, in my car, in a parking lot, cause I got some McDonald's. It's an awkward location, but I don't have a mount for my camera, so my phone, so I'm just having it there. So I went to McDonald's, and I got some food, and I thought I'd give you a little review. At the end of a hard day, it's nice to have some McDonald's. Mmm. <clears throat> Some delicious American cuisine. First off, the fries. You know, they're fries. They're skinny. They're salty. They're good. No complaints. I think the large has kind of gotten a little smaller over the years. But, you know. Not bad. Now, the moment you've been waiting for. Well, you haven't waited for shit, but whatever. The moment I've been waiting to show you, because the fries, they're fries. This is the $1 sausage burrito. Now, I know they came up with this several months ago, and all the food YouTubers covered it months ago, but I didn't try it out until now, so. And I'm not a food reviewer, I'm just a... I don't review food. I'm just an idiot on the internet. So. Looking good. Well, looks like a, a shriveled up pile of crap. Let's see here. Open it up a little. Uh, it looks, um, something. All right, let's give it a try. Hmm. It's creamy, but also dry. I don't know how they managed to single-handedly make it creamy and dry at the same time. Uh... It's good, there's a lot of cheese on it, it makes part of it creamy. Not a lot of flavor. Kind of bland, honestly, but... Hmm. So, I'm gonna give the, uh, before I move on to the cheeseburger... I'm a pig, I'm eating a lot, whatever. Before I move on to the cheeseburger, I'm going to give that a, um, yeah, a 7 out of 10. It wasn't horrible. 7 out of 10! And as Joey's World Tour would say, a woo, a woo, a woo, a woo, a woo, yeah! McDonald's! <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, 7 out of 10. Not bad. It's a dollar. Not amazing. Something to shove down your throat and, you know, you're hungry. You don't care. It's not nasty. Now, the final piece de resistance. The final meal of the fancy French Lee McDonald's. Boom. We, fuck, you can't see it because it's reversed. Shit, I don't know what I'm doing. It's bacon McDouble. Fuck it. Bacon McDouble. Oh, yeah. This is two dollars. And the cheeseburger is only one dollar. So you have to say to yourself, well, the cheeseburger, if you bought two cheeseburgers, you would get two burgers and an extra set of buns and other condiments on there. With, with double cheeseburger, it's just, I'm not sure if the double cheeseburger has one or two slices of cheese. I forget. So with a regular, if you buy two regular cheeseburgers for two dollars, you're getting a little more. However, this is not just two cheeseburgers, this has bacon on it. So instead of that extra bun and maybe extra pickle, you're getting uh, some more bacon. So you have to uh, do the math in your head. Do you want more bread or do you want more, want bacon? So Here we go. Oh yeah. Doesn't look too bad. You know, cheese is coming out. There's cheese on the wrapper, of course. Always happens. McDonald's cannot, it's a rule at McDonald's. A fuck 
fucking rule. You have to have cheese on the goddamn wrapper. You will be fired. I'm never allowed to work there ever again if you do not have cheese on the wrapper. It's a fucking sin. You have to have cheese all over the goddamn wrapper. But anyway, it's not that bad this time. So this person almost got fired. They got, they, they got a pay cut because there wasn't enough cheese everywhere else but on the burger. Same thing with the with the burger itself. Usually, the burger's got to be sticking out one side. If it's directly in the center, something is <sighs> something wrong with that. Okay, it's got nice bacon. You can see on the edges, nice cheese, a pickle. Oh yeah, let's give this a try. Is this two? These are fucking tiny, tiny little burgers. Jesus. Small burger. Okay, let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. It's creamy. And the bacon, man. The bacon adds that crunch. It's got the creaminess of the of the cheese mixed with the nicely cooked burger with the crisp of the bacon. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. Is it worth two dollars? Hmm. If this was just a double cheeseburger, I don't think it'd be worth two dollars. But the fact that it has this delicious crispy bacon. And, uh, you know, it's not like uh, two pieces of bacon. You know, it's enough. It's not like exploding with bacon, but it's not like one little uh, tiny piece. Like, there you go. It's It's got a decent amount of bacon. Every bite, you're getting bacon. So, yeah. Mmm. I gotta stop eating. I'm not here to eat in front of you. Although, maybe there's something with the food fetish thing who wants to see that. I'm here to review, so I got to put the burger down. Okay. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, that gets um, uh, an 8.5, 8.5, oh yeah, it's a good burger, that was tasty, and for $2, that's not bad, you get a couple of those, uh, you, you know, you get a couple of those, a drink, some fries, you got yourself a good meal. Okay, for the same price, you know, you'd get uh, one of those bigger burgers. You get three of those, six bucks, fries, like eight, nine bucks, and a drink, ten bucks. For a similar price to getting a meal, you can get a bigger meal because two or even three of those are probably bigger than the burgers, the signature, you know, number nine, number eight, whatever you get. So get a couple of those and. Well, ultimately, getting a couple of cheeseburgers. If you got eight cheeseburgers or nine cheeseburgers, that'd be more filling than any meal or combination. But whatever. You know, if you just don't want to eat cheeseburgers, you want something decent, get a couple of these. I'm pointing at the bag. <laughs> what, what, is he, what is he pointing at? What's up? Get a couple of these. Uh, get some fries. Get a drink or bring water, whatever. And you're good to go. Eight and a half out of ten. I would get them again. And I got several of these burgers, so... I would get these again. They are tasty. They are creamy. There's got nice bacon on them. I'd get them again. Oh, yeah. So... Got ourselves a wrapper here. No, I'm not done. I forgot to review the wrapper. Oh. Oh, um, yeah. Oh. Huh? Remember that? If anyone saw my one of my previous videos, I had a paper plate I was reviewing. That was a little more stiff. This is more of a smooth. More of a, it's a light, airy, it's a thinner paper. Although it's got a bit of a tangy taste that the, uh, Paper plate doesn't have. It's a little bit of a flavor to it. It's not plain, but it's light. It's refreshing. It's like if you're talking about beers, the paper plate's like a Bud Light or something plain. And there's a little more hoppy, but not bad. It's 
got nice decoration on it. Good to know that your paper has coloring on it when you're eating it. Coloring adds flavor, by the way. Yes, indeed. So, what do I think? I think that the paper, it's good. It's not amazing. You know, it's not very strong, but it's a little more of a, of a higher step than the paper play. It's not introduction. This is intermediate now. This is intermediate paper. you got to be an aficionado of like paper like this. So I'm going to give it... Mm, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Would I get it again? I mean, I have to if I'm going to McDonald's. I have to give you wrappers. But would I eat it again? Uh, maybe. If I'm in the mood. If I'm in the mood, I would eat it again. So yeah, that has been a... Uh, uh, Mickey's World Tour, sitting in my car in a parking lot, reviewing McDonald's. A woo, a woo, a woo, a woo! Yeah! Oh yeah, this is the worst Joey's World Tour parody. But I don't give a shit. Fuck off.